I talked with two students who go to Franklin High School and they tell me they believe this lawsuit is hiding the real issue, which they say is a need for more mental health counselors in their schools. Now, they say there is no question social media does have a negative impact on teen mental health, but they wonder what the school district is trying to accomplish with this lawsuit. The 92 page lawsuit claims the social media giants violated Washington's public nuisance law and intentionally contributed to the youth mental health crisis in the state. State. The lawsuit claims SPS and its more than 49,000 students have been directly impacted. One of the founders of the Seattle Student Union and Franklin High School student, Natalia McConnell, says the lawsuit feels performative. But the district, before they, they carry out a lawsuit, which is very, very expensive, they should have looked inward and addressed the problems that are actually in our schools that they themselves can solve. I do agree that TikTok and other social medias do play a detrimental part in mental health, but I don't think that SPS has a right to look externally for blame when they themselves are responsible for a lot of it. Google and Meta both sent us statements saying they want teens to be safe online and block specific content, but they also send notifications encouraging them to take regular breaks. In the latest budget, Mayor Harrell allocated $4 million to provide resources for teen mental health, which Natalia says is not enough. After the Ingram High School shooting, SPS announced that they were creating a child well-being council shortly after students organized a walkout and rally among their list of demands was requesting more mental health counselors in their schools. Live here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.